Hey guys, the objective of today's video is to talk about the axial capacity of single piles in cohesive soils and cohesionless soils. The ultimate axial capacity of a pile is defined as the sum of the total shaft resistance, the total base resistance, subtracting the weight of the pile itself. So the total shaft resistance can be expanded into the shaft resistance multiplied by the area of the shaft. The total base resistance can be expanded into base resistance plus the surcharge at base level multiplied by the area of the base. We can now assume that the product of the surcharge at base level and the area of the base, so Q0AB, is equal to the weight of the pile. And hence these two terms cancel out. And we are then left with this expression for the ultimate axial pile capacity. Let's now talk about the ultimate axial capacity in cohesive soils. Clay often exhibits its lower strength when saturated and subjected to undrained rapid loading. Hence we use an undrained analysis where phi u is equal to zero and the shear strength of a soil is due only to the undrained cohesion Cu. The shaft resistance Fs is equal to Ca which is equal to alpha multiplied by Cu. Ca is the adhesion between the soil and the pile. So once you know Cu, you can then use this graph to find alpha. You can then multiply these two values together to get what to get a value for CA. So the total shaft resistance can be written in this form. If the pile has a circular cross circular cross sectional area, then the area of the shaft is given by these terms here. The total base resistance is defined as the product of CUB n dash c and a b so c u b is a cohesion of the soil below the base of the pile n dash c is a bearing capacity factor defined below and a b is the area of the base to find n dash c you need to first find the ratio of the pile length and diameter and if the ratio is bigger than four then n dash c is equal to nine otherwise you use this equation here Let's now talk about the ultimate axial capacity in cohesionless soils. So granular soils are generally frictional and have zero or very small cohesion. Thus we can use a drain analysis and assume C dash to equal zero. The shaft friction therefore depends on the soil pile friction angle delta and the normal effective stress acting on the shaft sigma dash n. We can assume the normal stress is equal to horizontal stress, which is equal to a factor multiplied by the overburden pressure. The shaft resistance Fs is equal to the normal stress multiplied by tan delta, which we can rewrite as K sigma dash V tan delta. And also we can rearrange this to K tan delta multiplied by sigma dash V. We can also introduce a new coefficient for the shaft resistance known as F, where F is equal to K tan delta. The shaft resistance Fs is then written as F multiplied by sigma dash V. The base resistance Fb is equal to the overburden pressure multiplied by NQ. Both F and NQ are determined from this table, provided you know the soil consistency and the classification of the pile. In the next video, we'll do an example on the axial capacity of a pile. Hope this helps guys.